everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you've never been here before today we're going to talk about cotton yeah cotton that's really what we're going to talk about so me Let's... and mandy joe was talking about cotton yeah and she was saying that she found these um a dupe actually for the beloved which i gotta say i've never used them shiseido Okay, so we got the, um, and leave it to me to open it from the wrong end. <laughs> it's upside down. So, Shiseido Soft Cotton, okay, to take off your makeup and stuff. Okay, now for me, I've always been, I always use these. You know it. They're Swispers, Swisper Rounds. They got like the quilted thing on this side, and they're, you know, and it's like all sewed together. Right. To me, this has always been soft enough. Okay. But a lot of you ladies, you prefer and want to have the softness of Shiseido cotton when you take off your eye makeup. So I thought, how can I compare something that I don't even use? So I had to get it. <laughs> well, now naturally, Shiseido cotton does not feel like Swispers. Let me pull out a Shiseido cotton and let you take a look at it. Um, it's baby soft. Look how thick it is compared to a Swisper. <laughs> a Swisper is like a flat pancake. Okay, but this actually is soft and you could pull the layers apart if you wanted. See, soft little cotton in there. So you can pull these apart. They're ever so soft. And I thought, well, okay. So she tells me about these cotton that you can get on Amazon from a company called Muji. Now, not being a cotton connoisseur, <laughs> I immediately questioned the look of this cotton compared to the Shiseido cotton. The Shiseido cotton is very quite white and has a linenish kind of look to it, whereas these, well, to be honest, they're just as soft as the Shiseido, but they look different. They look like they got cotton seed specks in them <laughs> okay so you see you see the difference you probably can't because it's white um but i will have pictures okay so this is the muji and this is the shiseido the shiseido is just a teeny tiny i mean whoa you can't even hardly compare size longer but look how much thicker the Muji is then the Shiseido. Here's the Muji one. And like I said again, you probably can't tell, so I'll have pictures. I also noticed that you could separate these into several things, but inside, of course, it's all soft and stuff. It's just as soft. One day, I took my eye makeup off and I closed my eyes and I did it and I could not tell, could not tell a difference. But I still, I wanted to know, why are these Shiseidos all white like this? And, the, and this isn't. This isn't, it's white, but it looks almost like the Shiseido's been bleached. Hmm. So I wrote Shiseido and I asked them because I was searching online and was people, other people were saying, are the Shiseidos bleached? Because they are awfully white and uh, nobody seemed to be able to, to tell or know. Notice how much whiter this is the Shiseido is than this, than the Muji. Okay, so, um, anyway, so I asked Shiseido, I wrote Shiseido and I never got an answer. I called Shiseido and they said uh, they would get back with me, but they never did. So I don't, I can't really tell you if these are bleached or not, but they're awfully white. So that got me curious about other brands of cotton. So I ordered in Kokin, Kojindo, and I got really confused here because Ko, Kojindo comes in two pack varieties. We have pure 100% cotton, which they promise on their website is not bleached. Shiseido never says it's not bleached. And then you got this kind, which is organic. And I thought there must be a difference. So I got these two both, okay? And I will show you each one of these. 
They're exactly the same. They're exactly the same size, thickness, everything. Okay? And they are quite a bit bigger than the Shiseido. So here's a Shiseido. It ends here. Okay? Same diff. These look like the Mujis. See? They've got like the specks in them. Both the organic and the 100% cotton. Both claiming never to be bleached. I also noticed that Sephora has their own brand of the soft, soft cotton. It feels exactly the same as all the rest of them. It too is not all pearly white like the Shiseido and has the little like specks in it as if it's cottonseed or something. I don't know. Seriously, you can't feel any difference between any of these. Okay then, let's talk about the price differences. The Swiss Burrs, the cheapest that I could find them was at drugstore.com, $2.99 for a pack of 80. Um, that would be the Swiss Burr Supremes, okay? So that's the ones I use, are the Swiss Burr Supremes. They're $2.99 for 80, making them four cents a piece, okay? Okay, the Shiseido ones, um, there's 165, I'm looking at my notes, there's 165 in here. I bought them from Sephora at $9.50, and so that makes them six cents each. The Muji's come, I got these off Amazon, they come at 180 to a pack, they're $8.49, making them five cents. All right, let's talk about the code, Jindo. So I got these ones off Amazon. There's 80 of these in a pack, and I paid $11.90 for them. This is a box of them, and there's 60 in the box, and I paid $12.99, making them two cents a piece for each. So the Sephora ones then come in a box of 60, and they're smaller than all the rest, but they're just as soft. So depending on if you if the size matters the size matter I hope that was some um, useful information for you and that you will be able to make an educated decision as far as your cotton needs going forward. <laughs> Alrighty, if you're not having a blessed day, please go out and be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you, see ya, bye! Here comes Mary Cottontail, going down Shiseido Trail. And we're dropping cotton everywhere. <laughs> little cotton in there. Are you in there, Peter? This is from Peter's Cotton Dell. <laughs> comes straight from the cotton gin. All of these cottons come straight from the cotton gin. And they still have the seeds all in them. <laughs> all the others. <laughs> Whenever the camera comes on, your tongue don't work. <laughs> the organic ones have 
excuse me, the organic ones come 80 in a pack, making them. Oh my gosh, let me just keep burping all over you. I've not even had lunch or anything. Okay, okay, so let's look, let's talk Coke. Let's talk Coke and Joe. I'm never gonna say it right. It's Kojindo. 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 Okay, be serious. Alright. It's like squeeze the Charmin. Don't squeeze the Charmin. Don't, do you guys remember that commercial? Don't squeeze the Charmin, Mr. Whipple. Mm hmm. So, well, I'm squeezing the cotton. <laughs> so, I have enough cotton. I have enough cotton to last me. Cotton. I have enough cotton. Did you know that this is called, I'm going to rename these. This is called cotton from now on. Yeah, I have enough cotton to last me for a long time. Do you think I'll cut that out? No. <laughs> Let's just make a blooper out of it. Okay. And yeah, don't use Cottonelle. Okay? If you use Cottonelle, it leaves lint all over your face. Just saying. Not that I ever did that. <laughs> I'm Cotton. Yes, indeed, I'm Cotton. About you and me, I'm Cotton. <laughs> oh, you have serious issues.